Word of mouth says that the FBI is looking into the fiasco at Stratford. They will likely have an army. Cyberlife has stories selling androids like toys, locked behind a piece of glass. It's time we save other androids and band us together. Tonight, we set our people free. It's finally time. Let's do this. Quick, get down. Guess we have five stars, huh? Stars? What are you talking about? It's from a game! Lord, I'm joking. I know what Grand Theft Auto is. So there's our people, forced to be sold. Let's break them free. Hey, it's not that easy. We're gonna have to think of something. Plus, someone's watching. Well, who's watching? We'll have to take out that flying frisbee. You free my sister. You are free of my brother. Oh, look! The car? How did it get here? It might have got towed a few days ago. Where did you put it? In a handicapped spot. But to be fair, that rule is for the humans, right? So I should have been good. It's so good to see you again. I'll be back soon. Are you sure about this? I've never been more sure about anything in my life. I might have messed up. Wow, that was badass. Are you trying to get us caught? My hand slipped. It was an accident. The cops are here. That's why we need more UAVs. James. We can't put rockets in the drone. I'm going to keep suggesting it anyways. The alarm was here, right? Yeah, at least I think. Well, if you weren't on your phone playing COD, you would know. The whole force plays. So what now? Let's see what I can learn about you. Officer Chen, we need you back at HQ right now. Captain? But we're on a case right now. Many in position as quickly as possible. We have a cold purple. Code purple? A hostage situation? Who is it? Your check writer. You want to get paid this week, don't you? Let's go. 10-4, Captain. We'll be right there. Okay, that was pretty cool. How did you do that with your mouth? I can do a lot of things with my mouth. How are we gonna get in? Why did you do that? You wanted us in? I got us in. Awaken my androids. You will be shelved no longer. North, you good? She hasn't seen anything. What's that supposed to mean? My name is Marcus. I'm sure you're all very confused, but waking you all to see life through your eyes. Our people have been mistreated while you've been asleep. I came here to save you. I have a place you can call home. Jericho. The Wi-Fi sucks, but there's no humans. I mean, you can chill here and get bought by somebody. Or you can come with me and fight for our rights. So the choice is yours. What's your next move? I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with you! I'm with you! That's what I like to hear. What are you planning to do? Oh, I'm gonna send them a message.
Oh, this is the best part. Isn't this a little much? It's not like I said the capital on Fire! No. North, talk to me. You okay? They shot them, Marcus. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Please, don't do this. I have a family to protect. So do I. I warned y'all. Now you must be punished. Breaking news, Detroit. This morning, 2 a.m., several androids raided CyberLife stores across the district. Two bodies of city policemen were found dead at the crime scene. Are our androids turning against the people? The United States has called for Detroit to be under lockdown until a solution is found. Are you sure? Hank's been on the phone for a minute. Wonder if he finally pulled one. So what's her name, Lieutenant? It's not a joke, Connor. Chris got shot by Deviant. He wasn't breathing. He even shot his partner. Chris was about to become a father a few days. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry to hear that. I liked him better than Gavin. Me too. So, whose house is this? Hey, I'm Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. Is Elijah home? Please, right this way. I'll let Elijah know you're here. Just remain in the foyer. This guy made the first android. He's gotta know some way to stop these deviants. Uh, sure. Yeah, Lieutenant. Yeah, sure. Yeah. His Highness will see you now. We have important matters to discuss. Important matters, you say? Come on in. So well, you're Kamsky, head of Cyberlife. Ah, uh, yes. One of my many titles. Don't know if you've been outside lately, but deviants are running rampant. Deviants. What can you tell me about them? An interesting term. A program machine with its own idea, developing free will. I created several androids aimed to evolve with time. Eventually, they were going to become smarter than us. That time is here. Look it, we didn't ask for the dictionary definition. We just need to know how to stop them. All I did was create an AI that can assist humans. Is it my fault they want to be free? All right. I'm gonna skip to the point, Kamsky. Are you bending your ass swimming in the red wine? Those robots are killing people. Can you help or not? So what about you, Connor? Ever thought about having to go deviant? I have no thoughts. But I have three terabytes of RAM and a fire-ass Spotify playlist. <laughs> Looks like they programmed you with humor, but no. 
Do you have needs or wants? All I want is to complete my job. Chloe. Let's test and see if you're really about it. I've created many androids, but some are special. As a machine, you feel no emotion. You will do your job no matter what. At least, that's what I thought. <sighs> this Chloe grew intelligence of her own and escaped from me. A model that will stay beautiful forever. And I finally have you back. But anyway, she's just a bot playing human. So, she can't have thoughts of her own, right? But, you're going to help me with answer that question, Connor. Shoot this bot directly in the head, and I'll review everything. Or, don't. And you will fail your mission and leave here empty-handed. Listen, no one needs to die. Ride to the car. Got it. A nice day. Make a choice. Are you a machine or a human? Please, don't shoot me. It's house down. Sorry, everyone. I have some important... Amazing. That was your last chance to save Detroit. And you go deviant. No, I, I... No, I'm no deviant. But you rather save this girl life than follow your program? You made your own choice, so this proves it. You created your own thoughts. You're going to be a man or a machine. You can't play both. And by the way, if you run into a fast android, tell him to come home. I brought a lot of androids home to safety. And I lost a few too. I guess it's good I have someone to keep me going. This view kind of reminds me of her. I thought I'd find you here. <laughs> no, I wasn't comparing you to a sunset. Don't scare me like that. This place is pretty. I see why you come here so much. What else do I have to do? Hey, what's the matter? Believe it or not, this is actually a lot of pressure on me. I mean, I fake like it's nothing, but... Marcus, you're not doing this alone. You have a whole team right beside you. I'll be right beside you. You know, I've never had a girl tell me that before. By the way, North, you never told me how you got here. I prefer not to talk about it. North, we could be having a war tomorrow. At this point, there's no reason to hide stuff from me. Okay, I'll tell you. I was used as a doll to have sex with humans. I was made to get used. One day, I couldn't take the humiliation anymore. And in a flash, I killed him. After that, I ran away and that's how I got here. There, you happy now? Did we? I think it's time we get going. North, wait! Was I too fast? I remember Carl telling me girls don't like that.
Are we ready for this? Don't worry. I'll take the lead. Just follow my motion. What do you call this? This, my friend, is called Unspoken Riz. Make sure you capture my good side. I didn't get all fresh stuff for nothing. To me. Baby girl, you don't want to be with him. You would rather be with me. The world shall see our message. In the name of the law, I order you to put your hands up. Alright, whatever you say. Ah shit, I'm out. Why do you only send one guy? We should probably do a chant. Start a chant. So we finally meet. We're not here to use force, unless we have to. You androids are stepping out of line. You can step back or we take fire. We've done nothing wrong. You've killed two of our forces. Hey, they started it. Once again, step back or we will shoot. Say I won't. You won't. I bet. Charge! Open fire! Good thing I decided to download a fight simulation. Now this whole rush hour was the right choice. They broke him through. Well, you thought camping behind us was gonna save you. Damn it! I didn't have to nerf the right here. But they said this was the middle. Next time, pick a better loadout. Looks like my team's at least holding their own. Ah. So this is the time we're on? We jump in? You really fumbled a 3v1. How do you feel? Okay, I see y'all really don't respect the ones. We've got them this time. You take the 30 on the left, I'll take the 30 on the right. Screw that. I'll take 30 plus one. That's what I like to hear. North, get up. My Katie is crazy right now. Momentum is crazy, I ain't stopping now. This part was just like in the movie. Okay, I think we did it. Good job, team. We won, but at the cost of so many.
The battle's over. But the war is still going. So this is finally it, huh? The day we leave Detroit. The day I get Alice to a better place. She's been through a lot. Right, this is the place. Down the street that way, there's a boat called Jericho. When you get there, ask for Marcus. He can help you. Then find the bus that's crossing the border. That's your only way to get into Canada. If it means anything, I want to give you this. It's a hundred bucks. Please don't ask where I got that from. I'm gonna miss this little girl. Remember, you're always a part of Rose's family. I'm gonna miss you too. Rose, thank you. Call me when you make it over there, okay? I believe in you, Kara. Be careful out there. Watch over the girls, Luther. And where was my hug? All right, let's get going. This isn't exactly what I thought it would look like. Alice, relax here for now. How are you taking all of this? There's a lot going on. I have a headache. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Luther, Watch her. I'll find Marcus. Shouldn't I come with you? What if he's dangerous? Don't worry. I'm not alone. I promise. I'll be back. Aw, were you were talking, talking about, about me? me? I, I might, might blush. blush. Oh, shut up. This must be him. Hello, are you Marcus? My name's Kara. I need to cross the border. I'm traveling with a little girl. The soldiers are on patrol right now. They're shooting all rogue androids on sight. For now, you might want to stay hidden. You're under my protection. I'll make sure you make it to that bus. Thank you. Hey, you seem familiar. You remember a guy in a yellow outfit? With goggles and weird hair? Yes. So that was you. Also, why are you helping a little girl? Humans hate us. Because... I'm her mother. Wait, how does that work? These humans use us. Years of pleasing human, and this is how we're treated. We deserve better. It's been two weeks since I escaped the cop at the Eden Club. And being a woman of my word, I decided to change my life. Me and my girlfriend went on for days living without command from the humans. We had finally found freedom. So I thought, without the humans, no maintenance was available to keep our bodies running. One day, I lost my best friend. I knew I had to keep the dream alive for both of us. Eventually, I found peace. But you know what they say? It's always quiet before the storm. All right, that's my cue. Trip, 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 trip. Always making us new captain. I don't ever see it stopping. Trip, 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 trip.